human shout, followed by the rush of footsteps on stone. Hogan came charging up the steps, sword in hand, a silver fire leaping along the blade. At the same time, something else rose up out of the very rock, almost under Clarion's feet. Seen at night from a distance, it might be confused for a woman, for it was vaguely feminine in shape. But this close, it could be seen as the slender legs ended not in feet, but narrowed to become sharp, bony blades the colour of yellowed teeth. Its arms had two elbows, a hand's breadth apart, and its spade-like hands too many fingers, each ending in a curved back claw. Its hair was not hair, but a mass of brilliant tendrils of white light that flowed around its head and cascade and cascaded down its shoulders and back. And its face, if it had one, was an absence of light in the middle, a dark oval void without features of any kind. Below its shining head, its skin was entirely the colour of old, dried blood. The claws raked the drover, he parried, charter marks blazing on the sword, sparks flying. But the creature was far stronger. Drogon was forced back and then flung down the steps. Swatted like a fly, he disappeared into the shadows that he had never been. As Robin fell, Clarital swung the falch and two-handed the creature's back. But the steel did not even break that strange blood-red skin. It melted as it hit, the metal roiling away in molten drops, as if Clarital cast a cup of quicksilver against the creature, rather than struck it with a finely tempered blade. The creature turned and tilted its head quizzically. Not even a source of the sword? But true, you do not need such things. Let me show you how to find the power within yourself. I will guide you. But first let me dispose of this small and awesome. Thank you.